Where do we look to spend our time these days? Where do we wish to while away our softer moments? Is it a softer time for which we yearn, or a place to spend our yearn for time? Do we long with wistful envy for this place, to feel the warm sand between our toes, the smell of salt air, the sugar-sweet taste of cotton candy, to be sun-cooked or cosseted as we choose? Must we be content with only the memories of these simple pleasures our senses sometimes seek? No, it is not a distant imaginary Zanadu. It is real and it is here. A place where people have sought these simple pleasures for almost a century. The Santa Cruz Beach and Boardwalk. First born of a promoter's dream in 1904, it burned down in 06 and was rebuilt in time to open for the summer of 1907. It is along this northern curve of Monterey Bay that the wonder and allure that are the special magic of this amusement park have endured. The place is a walking treasure trove of history. The boardwalk itself is a California historic landmark. The 89-year-old carousel, where 73 wooden horses cavort in all their carved splendor, is a national historic landmark, and so is the Giant Dipper, Santa Cruz's most conspicuous and popular attraction. What can I tell you about this roller coaster? Uh, it was built in 1924. It's made entirely out of wood, very little of which is still original. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, more than 50 million people have ridden it, and the American Association of Roller Coaster Enthusiasts uh, rated among the top 10 in the entire world. And it goes 55 miles an hour, and I think we're going to find out. Sure. My first job here was running a kiddie train, and actually the little bulgy uh, ride over here, uh, I, I ran that when I was 16, and I'm 60 now, so it shows you that we have rides that have lasted. <laughs> Charles Canfield's father was on the board of directors of the company that operates the boardwalk. It has been a hands-on family affair for most of the past 100 years. His son took over as president in 1984 and has run the beach and boardwalk ever since. One ride that didn't last really wasn't for everyone and it wasn't technically a ride. It was called the Slide for Life and it involved a volunteer and a big fellow by the name of Bosco Patterson. He would be attached by his knees to a trapeze and holding a young man, but he's as a child, in his arms, they would take off from the top of the coconut grove dome, slide down the line. He had to release the child who would dive in the water. He would reach up, release his knees, dive in the water himself before the line slapped into the pier. The plunge is gone too. Built in 1907, it was a huge heated indoor saltwater swimming pool. It was emptied every night. 400,000 gallons of salt water were pumped back in and heated every day. The heating bill alone was $4,000 a month. When the public's interest waned in the early 60s, the plunge went under. But places like the beach and boardwalk are all about memories, the kind you make today, the kind you pull out and lovingly relive. And then there are the memories best preserved by those who can tell us about them. I really did grow up down here. That was the only fun place that we had at the time I was over here. And it was good, clean fun. So my dad never worried about me if I said I was going to go to the boardwalk. <laughs> From the first Miss California beauty pageant of 1924 to the big band sounds of the 30s where the likes of Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman put the Coconut Grove Ballroom on the music map. From the ups and downs of the Depression through the anxious anticipation of World War II. Through it all, from the start of one century to the start of the next, the Santa Cruz boardwalk endures. It has carved a niche in people's hearts and proven itself in harmony with the passage of time. I'm George Watson for my 20th century.